So part two of what I, I, I asked Justin to share, and it, it can't all be there, but I want to just let some of the people know that are geared up for it. Uh, as an example, I have a, a raised vehicle with uh, off-road tires, a rooftop tent, um, I have a fridge, so I'm pretty much fully sustainable and being off the road. And I've been chatting with Justin for a bit about coming up and the, the, the option of wild camping has risen um, and there's many people doing it, but obviously there needs to be uh, respect for the environment, understanding of the environment and all the amenities that you can carry in yourself and take the rubbish out yourself. And Justin's uh, taken a lot of time and effort and thought, um, and I believe done a little bit of research around what would be required in order to wild camp, and that seems to have finally uh, become fruitful. I just wanted to ask Justin and let him share some of the some of the expectations when it comes to wild camping because it is a private game 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 reserve so full respect all the time uh, there are wild animals as you've heard lions hyenas elephants the elephants are fairly friendly by the way uh, don't take your chance but they are fairly fairly friendly to the faces that they that they know like Justin's incredibly handsome face over here um, they also know his, 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 his vehicle, so they understand where the, where the boundaries are. But Justin, can you just share, you know, how many sites um, have you kind of laid out for wild camping? So Anton, like you said, we did a little bit of research and a little bit of questioning and asking yeah. the, the community, what are, what are the, the, the least requirements for, for, for a setup in wild camping? And, you know, we're trying to attract a certain group of people like ourselves. We yeah. both know what we want when we go camping, and that is the type of person or people that we are trying to attract. We don't want to attract people who are quite okay with setting up in a massive campsite, a communal campsite, where yeah. there's music and slamming doors and cars and whatever you're making noises. We 100%. want to attract people who like to be out in the bush by themselves and appreciating the sounds of, of the wild. And so, so those people generally come equipped and are able to go into the middle of nowhere, yeah. take all of their belongings in, have everything they need and take everything out again and Correct. leave no track. However, for us as having the reserve and having this platform, we need to offer and supply one or two amenities just to make it a little easier for those people. That's right. <laughs> Mostly ladies that are not entirely ready to let go of a loo in the bush. <laughs> it's funny, it was mostly the ladies that would comment back saying, short drop what? A toilet of some sort? Right. And a shower of some sort yeah, is, yeah. is a necessity. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the toilet, we we like to be flexible and almost call it a fly camp and be able to move it. Yes. When you put a long drop in the ground, it's, it's very permanent. It's fixed. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. also attracts. It, it creates a smell and attracts a lot of unwanted dung beetles, flies, animals, whatever. Correct. Attention. So we've decided to go with a short drop toilet. So okay. it's a similar concept, except. It's for you and your group only. Yes, yes, it's short. And it gets serviced. <laughs> it gets serviced every day. So yes. before the next group come and use it, it gets serviced and cleaned, and then you've got a, a fresh one just for, for your setup. I'm going to roll uh, one or two clips to give you an, an idea of what the expectation for, for, for that is. Personally, I think it's ingenious. It's simple, it's easy, and uh, maintenance for that, again, like Justin said, it gets rotated daily, which is fantastic. So then, most people have a little flimsy bucket shower yeah. that they carry in their vehicle. So we supply you with 200 liters of water, okay. which you can use for washing and for, for bathing, etc. And we've made a little frame which goes over a fireplace. So the frame holds the water okay. and you make your fire under it and yes. you scratch your coals to one side. So all of the heat that is generated is not lost, Correct. it heats the water. So it's like a donkey, except there's no insulation. So when the water's hot, you've got to use it. You're correct. Yeah, not yeah, like yeah. you put your jerry can or bucket in the, in the fire. It's a similar type of concept. It's very cool. I'm very excited. We're going to be uh, uh, heading out there now to do a bit of a wild camp for the next one or two nights. Uh, the weather's clearing up at the moment. It was raining the last few days. Um, I'm very excited about that. It's obviously a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Um, is there any way to communicate other than WhatsApp? There is signal on the farm, folks, so uh, WhatsApp and calls are, are capable. Um, would, you, would you prefer to just WhatsApp people if they need requirements immediately? Because obviously Justin lives on the reserve, so he's able to get there pretty, pretty quickly. 
WhatsApp is usually the way to go. Even when you're on the reserve, we use WhatsApp. Um, we have Wi-Fi set up at, a, at the home base and you should have signal in the, in the, at the camps in the bush. Yeah. However, when you're on the reserve, we'll give you a handheld or a walkie-talkie, so there's direct comms as well. Okay. Yeah. But then for, for getting into contact with us to make a booking, yeah. we have the website which you can put below if you like. The website's going to go down below. Um, I communicate only with Justin on WhatsApp. I don't phone. Uh, it, uh, WhatsApp does work. The, the signal is LTE or, or 3G, so that's pretty decent. Justin, I'm very excited. I actually want to get out set up. Um, my family is waiting for me. I want to drive past the giraffe before we go and do that in hopes they can walk past us in the morning. Thank you very much. Well, catch you later. See you later.